What was Operation Mockingbird? Operation Mockingbird is a large-scale project undertaken by the CIA beginning in the 1950s in which they recruited American journalists into a propaganda network. The recruited journalists were put on a payroll by the CIA and instructed to write fake stories that promoted the views of the intelligence agency. Student cultural organizations and magazines were funded as fronts for this operation. Operation Mockingbird expanded later on in order to influence foreign media as well. Dart Frank Wisner, the director of the Espionage and Counterintelligence Branch, spearheaded the organization and was told to concentrate on propaganda, economic warfare, preventive direct action, including sabotage, anti-sabotage, demolition and evacuation measures, subversion against hostile states, including assistance to underground resistance groups, and support of indigenous anti-communist elements and threatened countries of the free world. Journalists were reportedly blackmailed and threatened into this network. The Central Intelligence Agency owns every one of any significance in the major media. William Colby, former CIA director, cited by Dave McGowan, derailing democracy. Do you have any people being paid by the CIA who are contributing to a major circulation American journal. We do have people who submit pieces to other two American journals. Do you have any people paid by the CIA who are working for television networks? This, I think, gets into the kind of uh, getting into the details, Mr. Chairman, that I'd like to get into an executive session. We're in a situation where we have put together, and you guys did, did it for our administration, the President Obama's administration before this. We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. I think there are any number of things they need to investigate, including the likelihood that 3% of the vote total was changed in the pre-election voting ballots that were collected digitally by using the Hammer program and a software program called Scorecard. That would have amounted to a massive change in the vote that would have gone across the country and explains a lot of what we're seeing. In addition, they ran an algorithm to calculate votes they might need to come up with for Mr. Biden in specific areas. I think that explains what happened in Michigan, where the computer glitch resulted in a change of votes of uh, about 5,500 in favor of President Trump, just in one of 47 districts. All those districts need to be checked for that same, quote, software glitch, end quote, that would change the result in Michigan dramatically. Um, the same thing is happening in other states. We've had hundreds of thousands of ballots mysteriously appear for uh, solely for Mr. Biden, which is statistically impossible as a matter of mathematics. It, it can all be documented. We are putting it into materials that we will file in federal court, and we need to seek relief in multiple states to enjoin the certification of any election results. I don't really need you to get me elected. I need you once I'm elected. They were very broadly used, but, but not by the vote counters. They were used by the forces in the Democratic operatives that had access to these programs through the, the government access points that they have and used it illegally to change votes in this country. It's got to be investigated probably by the president's most trusted military intelligence officials who can get into the system and see what was done. But we do have some evidence that that is exactly what happened. And they've used it against other entities in other countries. It's just been turned recently against our own citizens here to change election results. It's absolutely appalling that that can be done. And whether it's called comp computer glitches or something else, somebody has actually gone into the system and changed voting results. This is coup 5.0, Lou. I mean, there was no reason to think that the Democratic operatives who spent hundreds of millions of dollars 
creating the Russia hoax, the Steele dossier, taking us through a special counsel operation for two years, trying an impeachment hoax, the apocalypse hoax, the obstruction hoax, wouldn't go so far as to create every means right. of voter fraud they could come up with to steal this election. That's exactly what happens. The president must fight back now in every way, shape or form. We cannot let this republic be stolen by the Democratic operatives who want to destroy the republic and make it a socialist country where they continue to line their pockets with these backdoor global deals like the Biden laptop from hell exposes. We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics.